Hello, welcome to Staff Engineer Academy, providing you bite-sized tips to be a better staff engineer. In this one, we're going to cover an anti-pattern called Big Design Upfront. So Big Design Upfront is basically when you try to create a comprehensive design before going into implementation. Now, it's essential to have some design, but just enough to get you started. You don't need to have a comprehensive design for the whole thing before you start implementing. So what are some of the consequences that happen when you fall into this anti-pattern? So one, it's hard to adopt to changing requirements or unknown issues. Because you do a big design up front, when requirements change or new issues come up during implementation, you know, it's harder to adapt because you've done a huge design and then there's a lot of things that may need to change. Secondly, there's wasted effort because you spend so much time doing design only to possibly change them during implementation due to changing requirements or unforeseen issues. Consequently, it also means increased development time and less innovation and experimentation. So engineers cannot innovate and find new ways to solve the problem because you've already done the design up front. So you don't take use of the information that you learn as you start implementing. And then it can also cause feeling of churn among developers because they feel that there's just constant changes of direction. So what are some of the causes of this? One is your organization might have a culture of thorough planning, like everything needs to be planned before it's executed. Second is maybe your organization has a culture of stability and change resistance. So if the organization resists change or prefers stability, they might find themselves asking for big designs up front. Second is bureaucracy or lack of trust. If you don't trust the team implementing to make decisions, then you want a big design up front so that you can review everything before they start executing. So what are some of the solutions to deal with it? First is build a culture of iterative and incremental design, right? So define milestones that are launchable with minimum scope. So cut the scope to as little as possible that can be launched to the customers. Because when you cut scope, you reduce the things that can change. You make it uh, achievable, visible design. You do an implementation and then with whatever you learned, whatever feedback you get from collaborating with different stakeholders, you can then go and design the next phase. Another strategy is also to decouple high level design and key decisions from low level design. So maybe it's a brand new project and you need some kind of architectural guidance without necessarily having to figure everything else, you can still create high level designs and key decisions. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one.